Graham, uh, just say something, yeah. mate. Talk me through what happened there. There was a stat before the game. Uh, Brighton have not won a home game in this calendar year. There's another one. Before today, five out of the last six home games, they hadn't scored a goal. Uh, that changed spectacularly, didn't it? Uh, it's, it's like we just basically said, oh, you read the feel sorry for you. Uh, uh, get your stats up. Go on today, because we just rolled over, mate, really. There. That was, and United fans' reaction said it all at the end, didn't it, really? Yeah, uh, it, it's weird, because you were at Watford, I was at Everton. I thought Everton was really toxic. Today, it was kind of, you're not fit to wear the shirt. A load of people came down from behind, from behind us just to, just to vent their anger. I wouldn't say it was toxic. It was just people just reached, reached the end of the tether, pretty much. Exactly that, mate. I mean, <coughs> team selection, we all agreed at the start. Don't, bro don't break a winning team, we was all for that, but we could see cracks in that setup and that personnel early doors, mate. And when you've got to make two substitutes at half time when you're only 1 0 down, it says everything you need to know, doesn't it? Yeah, I, what I thought for the first 10 minutes, uh, and I don't really want to talk about Brighton too much because I think we've seen enough of Brighton to know that they. They're a decent passing side that doesn't score a lot of goals until today. What I would say about it is, um, for the first 10 minutes, they kept us in like a gauntlet. They had a gauntlet around uh, around our midfield and our back four, and we just couldn't get out for various reasons, lack of physicality, lack of quality in, in key areas. And I actually thought for a couple of minutes we'd, we'd seen it out, and then the... They really piss poor defending uh, for the first goal. The lack of physicality again in, in key moments, and uh, and Caicedo had the time to pick out the corner, and uh, you're on the back foot. The weird thing was, we didn't really. We, we we looked at the first half and we thought there's got to be changes at half time. We couldn't see Ralph buying that and that there would be discussions and really we touched on certainly more than two players it, it, it was a situation where you could have substituted five it's a this was a day when you really needed five substitutes yeah, but we but we called it we, we called it langer um i think we wanted matter i think it, it, it was too it was too energetic for matter um, but we did say, would he would he leave Fred Matic and McTominay on the pitch? And of course, Matic was the one to would you have to follow away. Was that? Good? I mean, I've gone in on Ralph myself for that substitution in particular. I just didn't think that it was the right one. I thought he sort of left us weaker in midfield when he brought Matic off. I was trying to not think of Ricky <laughs> while, we're on, while, we're, while we're on that because um, he'll say oh, we, we we might have been crap the first half but we were, we were less open it, you know it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult one I think Cavani was Cavani coming on was a no brainer and I think Fred coming on was a no brainer but when you've got um, again it's it's the I know we've got issues in midfield, but it's it's like the forwards again. It's almost you know there's no nobody wants Lingard on. Rashford's not available, and we're glad he's not available. Um, and all of the options that might have made a difference are either out of form or have gone. So uh, probably made a mistake. But where do, where, where do you go? And when and when I mean the the second the second goal again. There was no physicality there, and, and Cucurella could pick the top, pick the top of the net. Uh, and I said, I know, I said to you, we're done here. And the, and the weird thing was, we had we had chances, and Sanchez made some saves, but we were we so were we easy. Did, we didn't start playing until we were four 0 down. No, we we didn't. didn't. It's, it's, then chances it's a, only came, mate, when we were four 0 down. It's as, it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, and, and Brighton were quite adventurous. As the seagulls come over laughing at us, mate. <laughs> God, we've been shat on and the team's been properly shat on. Oh, mate, uh, Graham, you've mentioned it before. We've talked about it off camera. Worse than, worse than the Dave Sexton era. 
it's got to be by a mile now surely well as, as I said to younger people and uh, the older ones will appreciate this Dave Sexton uh, got a draw, got a three-all draw with the uh, champions elect Aston Villa, and then won seven in a row, and still got fired. Um, this th this season really takes some beating. It's it's really that bad, and when you consider um, that era, it was much more equal than it is now. You know, in terms of in, in terms of spending, you know, you look at. It, the, no excuse, mate. There is a the thing. No the, excuse, is the, there? The, again, it's it's recruitment. It's about it's about a vision that um, that a club knows what it wants from the from the very top to the very bottom, and 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 our our club is just it's just not on the same page. It's scrambling for the next big idea, and that's the worrying thing. It is. Graham, cheers for coming on as always, mate. Unpleasant journey on. Stopping off at Crawley for a, a swift coffee. <laughs>